If you cannot do great things, do small things in a great way. Napoleon Hill Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to rotate shapes, objects, images in Adobe Illustrator CC with two different techniques. Go to Fill, Make it off. Go to Stroke, Make it black. The rotation always depends on the anchor point and the rotating angle. First, let's make any shape, for example, let's make a rectangle. To make a rectangle, right click on the shapes icon, then choose the rectangle. Click, hold, drag to draw the rectangle. By the way, if you like to draw a perfect square, hold the shift key from the keyboard, then click and drag. Now we have a perfect square. Also, you can do the same if you like to draw another perfect shape. Just hold on the shift key from the keyboard, then click, hold and drag. Now let's select and delete these shapes and go back to our square. How we will rotate it? Remember, the rotation always depends on the anchor point and the rotating angle. In the first technique, we will manually define the anchor point. Select the square, then go to the rotate tool or press R from the keyboard. As you see, the anchor point by default in the center of the shape. Hold the Alt key from the keyboard, then click on the anchor point. Here you see and define the rotation angle. Check the preview. Then scroll by the mouse to increase the angle. As you see, the shape rotates around the anchor point. For example, let's make it 20 degrees. The shape rotates for 20 degrees. If you like to make a copy, just click on copy. To make another copy, click Ctrl plus D from the keyboard. To make many copies, hold the Ctrl key, then click D, 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 D. That means you tell the illustrator to make a new copy every 20 degrees. To go back, hold Ctrl click Z. To go back many steps, hold the Ctrl key, click Z and Z and Z. Now let's move away the anchor point, for example, in this place, hold the Alt key from the keyboard then click. Or here, Alt click. Or here, Alt click and so on. I'll make it here. Now, let's define the angle, for example, set it to 15 degrees. Click on Copy. Click Ctrl plus D from the keyboard. Hold the Ctrl key, then click D, 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 D. Also, you can do the same with any other shape. Now the second technique. Let's make another shape. Then go to Effect. Go to Distort and Transform. Then choose Transform. Here you can see the given places of the anchor point. For example, I'll choose this anchor point. Check the preview. Here, you can define the rotation angle, for example, I'll make it 30 degrees. Here you can choose how many copies, or scroll by the mouse. That means you tell the illustrator to make a new copy every 30 degrees. Select and press delete or backspace from the keyboard. 
Now let's use a photo. Go to File. Click on Place. Click to place it. By the way, the link with this photo will be in the description below. Hold the Shift key and drag to resize it a little bit. By the first technique, go to Rotate. Hold Alt click. Now, to find the angle, click Copy. Click Ctrl D. To make many copies, hold the Ctrl key, then click D, 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 as many as you want. To go back, hold Ctrl click Z. To go back many steps, hold the Ctrl key, click Z and Z and Z. Now the second technique. Go to Effect, select Transform. Check the preview. These the main anchor points, you must choose one of them. I'll choose this anchor point. To find the rotation angle, for example, make it 20 degrees. Choose how many copies, or scroll by the mouse. Okay. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Stay creative.